Hello and welcome to this episode of J Man Can Allotment Diaries. Thank you very much for watching the journey so far today. What I'm going to be doing is one of them odd jobs that nobody likes doing. It's the boring jobs, but it's the necessary evil. I'm going to be tidying up that greenhouse. I've got my tomato plants at home ready for the greenhouse for the uh, tomatoes to be going into there. I've also got another area of the plot just on that side which I need to clear up and then create some space for some cabbage that I've got at home and some turnips that I've got at home. So hopefully you'll enjoy the video. The weather's actually really good today. I reckon it's perfect weather, not too sunny, not too cloudy. It's got a nice warm breeze in there, but let's not waste any time and let's get to work. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you a before and after of the greenhouse. See, it's got to all sorts of pieces of wood, some gear on there as well. There's a shelf along there, that's my drinking water. I don't do cups of tea, I will do later on. I'm gonna have to clear all of this over here, get rid of all of that, get rid of all of this, tidy them in there, tidy this pie area here, clean some of that up. So uh, let's get to work. Okay, so I had one task for today that I really wanted to get done, and that was tidy up the greenhouse and have it prepared so that I can come up, plant, transplant my tobacco plants in there. Like I've said, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a deep one, a shallow one, and another deep one. And I'm gonna have three tomatoes per bag. Therefore, I'm gonna have nine bags on this side. I might have put a couple more just on the back row there in pots. So that was task number one. I have another task that I really wanna get done today. The sun is coming out and it's starting to hit me in the eyes. Keep on watching. So as you can see my plot runs from the greenhouse down there all the way along here and this and that is actually my last bed and this runs from up to here up to here right across all the way along there now so what I've done is I've made bed four three two one that's the greenhouse and that's the patch in front of the greenhouse one of my second task today task number two piece piece um, is to clear that area as much as I can so that this bed can effectively continue along there and then that bed can continue along there and that bed can continue along there. So all I'm going to be doing today is spending time digging that. Now the previous allotment holder did have a lot of beautiful flowers. Now because I've only got a quarter of the plot, I can't afford to have flowers. So what I'm going to be doing is taking out some of the bulbs, some of the flowers, giving the bulbs away to other plotment holders and having maybe another area. But the plan is clear all of that up as much as I can. It's a lot harder than you think as well as digging the bulbs. It's not being touched, taking out the flowers, moving them along, taking out the weeds because again, it's just tough, tough work, but it's fantastic exercise. So, operation, tidy up this corner, has proved a lot harder than I thought. The reason is, there's loads and loads and loads of flower bugs around here. And as I'm digging up, I'm realizing the roots are really really deep, the bulbs are very deep, 
So all I'm going to do is uh, take out as much of them as I can, just in a small area, and then leave the rest. And I'm then going to go and tidy up the other area, which will have as many bulbs, and just see what grows here. Got plenty of time, so let's just keep on uh, tidying this up. Okay, so I've been here for at least an hour, 100% just tidying up this space, possibly more than that. Now that I've done this space, I'm going to go home and hit the books and work out whether or not I want to put my squash in here and my marrow and build some kind of frame to go up so the marrow can and squash can trail along there, or whether I'm going to put my broad beans in here, or whether I'm going to put a little bit more runner beans in here. So I'm going to work out what's going to be best because this part um, is going to be slightly shaded from this little area here, the tree there, and there's a greenhouse there. So it's going to be slightly shaded, so I've got to work out what's going to be best. Whereas all my other area is completely open sunshine 24 hours a day, seven days a week, or when it's sunny here in, uh, in great old uh, Manchester. So that's where I'm at up to now. Okay, thank you for watching this episode of J Man Can Allotment Diaries. I'm gonna be honest, I'm exhausted. I came here, I don't know, about, uh, about uh, half two, it's now 6.30. All I've done is clear out the greenhouse you can see behind me, and on the left hand side of the screen, you'll see an area which I completely dug up and it was a complete, absolute mess. I will try and put a before and after picture up during the uh, video, you might have seen that already. But uh, thank you very much for watching. If you've liked it, give it a thumbs up. Um, feel free to comment. I'll, I'll love listening to uh, reading your comments. Some good, some bad. And uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe. It's so important to stay hydrated when you're working in, uh, in hot water. Wet hot. My God, start again. God damn it. It's so important to stay hydrated, especially when you're working in hot weather. I mean, the sun is beaming. Everybody have a good one. I'll uh, I'll give you an update and I'll speak to you soon.